Hello, preschool friends. We are gonna talk about our number of the week. Can anybody remember what was our number last week? Yep, that's right. It was the number three. So looking at our number path, what number comes after three? That's right, friends, the number four. So let's put a mark on our number paths and make that a four. Mark it on the four. There's the number four right there. Can you say that with me? Four, okay? We're gonna do something a little different today. Because this is our number four, we're gonna stand up and we're gonna jump four times. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Good job, friends. Okay, so that is the number four. And is the number four a lonely number or a number pair? That's right, friends, it's a lonely number. Why is it a lonely number? Yes, because it does not have a partner or another number to make a new number. That's right, it's a lonely number. Do we remember where lonely numbers go? Do lonely numbers go in the tenth place or the ones place? Yes, they go in the ones place. All lonely numbers go to the ones place. So now we're going to write the number four. When I write my numbers, just like when I write my letters, I start at the top and I come down. Here we go. Four, that is the number four, friends. Now I'm going to write the word four. F O U R. That is the word for. This is the number four. Can you show me four fingers? Good job. Okay. Now we are going to count out four squares. And we're going to count that as one. Okay? So there's one, two, three. Four. How many squares did we count? Four. That's right. Good job, friends. Now we need to count out four circles into our 10 frame. Can I put two circles in, in one box? Nope, you're right. I can't. I can only put one circle in each box. So let's count with me. One, two, three, four. How many did we count? Four, that's right, good job, friends. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about columns. A column goes up and down, and we talked about rows. Rows go across. So, how many is in this row right here on the top? Oh, look at that. You did not even need to count that. You're subitizing. That means that you know how many is there without counting. We talked about that in group, didn't we? We did. So, I'm going to put a two because there's two in that row. So, here's the number two. How many is in this row? That's right, there are two. So friends, if I want to make this a math sentence, it's going to look like this. Two plus two equals, how many did we count? Four, good job. So then I'm going to put my number four there. So two plus two is four. Now let's look at the columns. How many are in this column? That's right, there's two. So we're gonna put a two here and then we're gonna put an addition sign 
because we're going to add these dots to those dots in that column. How many are in this column? That's right, there are two. And then I put an equal sign, so two, two plus two equals, how many are here all together? That's right, friends, four. Good job. So friends, what is our number this week? The number four. Good job, friends. See you later.